Hi, welcome to a very brief video just to announce that actually a new version of the Stone Half add on for Blender is available. It's the version 084, which you can download either from stonehalf.de and then go here on the top right, Blender add on, or in the official forum, there will be also a link available in a second. And there is actually only one feature which is included in this new version, but that's a very nice one and I'm proud of it, which is the function to import existing animations. And I'm just going to demonstrate this. So we have here Blender. Let's do the whole workflow. We open a model, an object file, which was created based on the QB file with cubicle constructor. I take here the human male version and that's our settler we are working with. Now what we need is that we need a skeleton file which is also coming from Stonehalf and I prepared it here also and there we go. So I load the human male skeleton and I will load the meta file which you can also download from the same link which is making the work a little bit easier. Then we go here to the right, prepare skeleton, prepare animation. There we go. We can start now with our animations. And now there is a new feature which is import again stone half. And if we look now into the stone half folder, there is a folder which is called data, rigs, human, animations. And then you are in this folder here. Here you have the, the whole animations which are used in stone half. And now let's load two of them. Let um, us take maybe the idle warm hands, import it. And now what's happening is that frame by frame the add on is loading the animation. That's unfortunately the trade off. There are no information about keyframes included in the animation files of Stonehearth. So each single frame is put in here into Blender as a keyframe. But now we have here our worker, and if I play the animation, you will see that he's actually warming his hands on the virtual fire, which you don't see here, of course. And that way you can load, I just delete this one, load all the animations which you are finding in Stonehalf. Maybe let's take the run version, and there you go. The worker is running now. So it took me a little bit to get this implemented, but I'm quite happy with the way it works now. And there is one speciality. There are animations which require some items, for example, if he's carrying something. And if there are other items included in the animation, then they will be added here as these boxes. So as helper bones, just like the root here you see on the ground and offhand and main hand items. So this is due to the fact that actually you don't know before you load an animation what items might be involved in there. So you click on them here so you see it's a box 001 and that's the animation to put an item on the table. So that is probably the table and that's the item he's carrying. And if we play the animation, then it looks exactly like that. So he is grabbing something and letting it flow on the or fall on the table. So every time you see a gray box, it means that it's not part of the standard model and it's an additional element used in this specific animation. Just that you are not um, surprised on what that this means exactly. And yeah, that's actually all I wanted to share in this video here. So you have now the option to import and export the skeleton files, the meta files, and now finally also animations. So I hope you like this new feature and yeah, every kind of feedback is highly welcomed, especially if you find here some bugs, I would be really interested in this ones because that was quite some effort to get it done. So there might be one or the other uh, bug to be killed in the future. Thanks for passing by. Take care. Bye.